Yeah, this movie totally reinforced what I already knew about myself, and that is anytime someone has to hold their breath underwater in a movie, I'm holding my breath with them. I'm all in the theater like an asshole, like... <gasps> Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. So Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is the fifth Mission Impossible movie. Usually fifth installment's a good indication where it's like, yeah, you should probably just go ahead and kill the franchise now because they suck. But not Mission Impossible. That shit is going strong. In Rogue Nation, Ethan Hunt is on the... Hunt. That was dumb. For what he knows as the syndicate. It's like whispers of whether or not they actually exist, but he's going after them, and you have the CIA chasing Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise has some allies, he has some enemies. Are his friends with him? Are they not? Gotta watch to find out. This movie really had it all. It was a great blend of Mission Impossible. It's a great blend of, like, espionage spy movie that you know espionage spy movies are supposed to be. You know, like, my spy gadgets. Are we there? Yeah? Okay. Espionage. Spy. Dun, 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 dun. And entertaining ass action movie. They have come together perfectly blended in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I tell you, man, the action in this movie, holy shit. There is a chase scene in this movie where you're watching it and you're like, this is why I love action movies, because chase sequences like that. And it has a pretty solid villain. The villain in this movie, he kind of reminded me of the Riddler. He was the brains, man. He was a super villain. It was like Ethan Hunt was looking at this guy and he's like, this guy might be my match. And you're like, apparently so, because this dude has Tom Cruise spooked. And I love the characters. Tom Cruise, the nothing more needs to be said. We all know this dude is like, how old is he? What is he, 50? Doesn't matter. He's perpetually 25 because Tom Cruise that we have now is a cyborg. What can we say? It's like the Illuminati saw Top Gun. We're like, we're gonna keep him like that forever. But I love Simon Pegg in this movie. Simon Pegg allows them to have comic relief without it compromising the tension of the espionage moments and the thrills of the action scenes. I'm glad they used Ving Rhames more in this movie. I'm glad Jeremy Renner has a lot of time to shine. And Alec Baldwin, who's new to the series, I love his witch hunt against Ethan Hunt. But the girl in this movie, I can't think of her name right now, so I'm gonna put it right here. Cause she deserves to have her name out there. Holy God, this chick was awesome. She's the most badass Bond girl you've ever seen. Or never seen, cause it's not a Bond movie. What I mean by that is usually in a spy movie or an action movie, they try to make the girl badass, but they kind of fail because they just give her a gun and they're like, well, you're supposed to buy the fact that she's a badass because we're telling you. But it's not enough. You need someone to actually fill the role. This girl and Furiosa are like the two badass chicks of 2015. I wouldn't mess with this girl. This girl could kick my ass. That's not saying much, but I'm just saying. She could most certainly beat the shit out of me. In the end, I was really impressed with how Mission Impossible Rogue Nation hit its mark. When you can have a Mission Impossible movie, or a spy movie, Bond movie, whatever, and you can have it have intriguing espionage with the gadgets and the really cool spy shit, and you can have it have really exciting action sequences, we're talking the hand-to-hand -hand combat was great, the car chases were great, the stunts were great, shit, Tom Cruise is like hanging outside of an airplane. For real. But you can blend these two without one compromising the other, just perfect. That's what you need in a spy movie, and that's what Mission Impossible Rogue Nation does. Guys, I'm not even gonna mince words on this. I was completely surprised by Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, because I'm not gonna lie, when a movie gets pushed forward, they're like, that's... Not good. It's gonna be rushed. But nope, it's just a smart business decision because they didn't want to come out parallel to Star Wars. I get that. Coming out against Star Wars, instant death. Coming out in the same summer where we got Terminator Genesis and the same weekend we got Vacation. Genius. And I will say Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is... Awesome-tacular. <laughs> Seriously though, you guys do hold your breath, right? I know! Alright guys, so Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, have you seen it? What did you think about it? What is your favorite Mission Impossible movie thus far? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know! And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.